This is Sensei Buck Snyder. I'm a martial artist, nature lover, and total nerd. Come have fun with Sensei in the Wild. What's up YouTube? Today we have something very exciting. We have the nine banded armadillo. Check this out right here. This is an armadillo and there are two kind of common types of armadillo. There's the three band and the nine band. And when we talk about bands, we talk about these bands on its back here. You can see these lines. Now they're called nine band, but depending on where they live, the actual number of bands can vary, but it is different from the three band. And look at this little guy. He's awesome. He likes to uh, forage at night. They are nocturnal, and uh, he's got a lot of really interesting characteristics that makes him very, very particular for what he does. Uh, if you look at his feet, he has huge claws on him. Those aren't for fighting or killing, those are for digging. He's like a sloth in that regard. He can use his nails, and he's an extremely good burrower. Matter of fact, they make their homes in the ground, and they live in their little burrows during the day, and. Uh, they run to their burrows when they're uh, in danger. If something threatens them, that's their first response is to try to run. So the three band armadillo, when it gets scared, it can actually roll into a ball. The nine band, which is this one, cannot. This one cannot get in a ball. But one interesting thing about this one is, this one can actually float across a river. It can expand its intestines and become kind of buoyant, and it can hold its breath in the water for up to six minutes. So it can float across a river and get to the other side. If you look, he's got this hard, leather-like, uh, kind of rubbery feeling skin all over his body. He's got it down his little nose, on his back, and his tail, to me, it looks almost reptilian with those old scales and those lines. And look at that pretty coloration. Look at those different uh, light, dark, light, dark bands all the way down his tail. And so these little guys like the forage and they will eat small reptiles from time to time, but their main meals are termites, ants, and tiny, tiny little bugs. And they love to forage around at night and find those bugs and eat them. And these little guys can get up to 22 pounds, the biggest ones ever, but they generally are between 5 and 12 pounds. And this one's a little bit smaller. There were two out in our yard, and this was the smaller of the two. So I'd say this one's probably somewhere between 8 and 10 pounds. And uh, it's interesting because uh, it is a mammal, which means it's warm-blooded. And one thing about it is, these little guys used to live in South America millions of years ago, and they migrated up uh, through the continents up to Amer North America only in recent uh, centuries. And cool thing about them is they're made for tropical environments. They only can live in semi-damp, warm environments. They can't go in dry areas, and they can't go in cold areas. So they've expanded to the uh, southeast United States, but they're not been able to go much farther into the country because it's too dry or too cold for them. And so they've expanded through a lot of United States. It's the most common armadillo in the world, but its growth has stopped because of the uh, temperatures and weather conditions in the areas it's trying to expand to. So anyway, these guys can be considered uh, kind of a nuisance to people's yards because they will tear up roots. They like to root around and find stuff and they use their nails to tear up. So. As far as people go, they'll, people don't like them in their gardens or their yards, but that's the worst they do. Um, you can tell this is also called a long-nosed armadillo because look, if you look at his little snout, it very much resembles kind of an anteater's little nose. Right? I think this is a magnificent little animal. He's beautiful. And uh, you can tell, him, uh, if you saw on his back, he's got one of his little uh, things got hurt at some point in his life or her life. I'm not sure what gender this one is, but you can tell the little injury right there. And one cool thing about these armadillos is if, if, when they get startled, they'll typically run and they're extremely fast. So they can dart to their little holes really quickly. But if they get startled enough, they can actually jump three to four feet straight up into the air, which is incredibly dangerous when they're, you're driving at night. If they're out on the road and they get startled, they can actually jump up and hit your windshield because they're, they're, they're startled. That's what they do. They don't know they're gonna hit your windshield, but that's what ends up happening. So anyway, this is the nine band armadillo, extremely, extremely awesome 
prehistoric looking kind of animal. Uh, really neat. I'm going to take him and turn him free and so he can run off with his little mate, the little friend he was with over there. And uh, hopefully they won't tear up my yard anymore. Okay guys, we're here with the nine banded armadillo. And we're about to turn him free out here by the woods and hopefully he won't come back to my yard. So here we go. Hey guys, we're here with the nine-band armadillo, and we're about to let him go. Keep it wild.